Hey again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today's a little bit different because I'm going to follow a step-by-step -step tutorial produced by the fabulous Alika from Goodness In You. I'll leave the link below to her channel. She's actually produced this stunning sunset scene over this lake. Um, but I believe it's done in a time-lapse fashion because obviously the whole video seems to be sped up. So my challenge today is to see if I can actually produce it in real time in under 10 minutes. The reason I like to do these time challenges is because it really helps to loosen up your painting style. I used to be a real perfectionist when it comes to painting, so giving myself challenges like this really helps to loosen up those brush strokes. So let's see how we get on. Here we go. Okay, so the paints we're going with today are just simply the white and the black, the warm red and the cool yellow. Keep it nice and simple as best I can. Alika actually uses much more specific paints, but I'm just going to keep it to the basic four. So let's put on her video in the bottom right hand corner. Just to remind you guys that of course the goodness in your video has been sped up. So the whole point of this today is just to see if I can actually challenge myself to see if I can speed up my own painting style to keep up with her. So straight off we need to get a nice straight line. I'm not going to do the ruler, I'm just going to go straight on with my hand. Do this by freehand. I'm going to have to cut some corners obviously with this painting to see if I can actually try and keep up. So straight on with the yellow here she's going. So let's go right in the middle. I've gone with a bit of a bigger brush than Alika's used just so that I can again try and make the whole process a little bit quicker and I'm going to try and paint as fast as I can today. So bear with me. I might make a bit of a mess. A few splashes everywhere. So I'm just going to mix in the orange. Obviously I've already watched the video beforehand so it's given me a heads up a little bit. And there's definitely areas that I know I need to speed up with so I'm just going to blend these two together now. I want to make sure that, that yellow stays in the middle because that's where the vibrant sunlight is going to come from. So I'm just going to work this over a bit like a rainbow. Blend it all through. I need a little bit more orange on here. A bit more paint. All right. So just this time straight on with the red. I mean I'm talking about orange. I'm obviously blending the two colours together but I'm just going to go as fast as I can now to the corners, try and get uh, as much of this red working through. Alright, just keep blending this. I'm not going to be able to get this as accurate as I'd normally like in terms of a blend. I like to really get the colours to blend very subtly. But one of the beautiful things I noticed about Alika's painting anyway was just the mark making and the lines and the texture. So actually it's going to work quite well with, with working this quickly. I'm actually getting out of breath painting this fast. So I'm just going to put those streaks across. So again, just using the same large brush straight off this time. I just want to try and get those streaks going in. I want to keep that yellow though, so I'm very wary that I'm not going to lose my yellow in the middle. Now Alika's actually going a little bit darker in the corners. I might have to put a little bit of black through my red I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this dark enough. Yeah just, just, just subtle hints of black. The trouble is when you're using black with paint is it makes it a little bit murky. This is where I am limited because I've only gone with four basic colours. Um, if you do watch goodness in your video which is fabulous and um, you'll see all the color ranges that Alika uses but I'm just trying to recreate this obviously as quickly as I can so just a very subtle amount of black um, it will muddy your paints down but I just want to try and get that tonal quality in the corners a little bit so again bring those streaks across okay I might have to speed up a little bit here Tell you what, this is this is actually a good workout. I think I'll be losing a few calories working this quickly. <sighs> a little bit more yellow. Now I've got and used. Um, I've actually got some standby brushes on hand. So the key here, and again I've jumped forward because I know what the video is going to be doing. But you want to keep a white streak in the middle. Um, you know, the whitest or the lightest colour on any canvas is always going to be the white of the canvas so the idea is that you don't I'm not going to touch that middle bit um, then I just keep need to keep blending this area so again I'm still using the same size brush which is the 35mm large painters brush 
It's a really, really big brush for, you certainly can't get any detail, but I'm not trying to get detail at this stage. I'm just simply putting down that like base layer of blending. Um, I'm getting a little bit behind here. Now I'll, yeah, keep blending some of that yellow in. I'm a bit worried about losing my white bit in the middle. It's a bit mucky with my colors blending. I need to blend some of this more, a little bit more. I might gonna get a bit behind here. Still not quite happy with that that side bit. It's always handy to have tissues on hand as well because you don't want to um, you don't want to sort of water your paints down too much. So just yeah, be a bit wary when you're losing when you're using water. I'm still not happy with those corners. I'm just going to keep working that darker colour. All right, so I'm going to need to go to the horizon line. So I've just swapped brushes to the fine detail brush. Um, Again, just giving little hints of trees here. So using the same size brush, just little flicks up here. Now on Alika, she actually does little gorgeous little uh, palm trees, but where I live in Western Australia, we don't, we do get palm trees, but they're not native to us. So I'm gonna do some little Norfolk trees. They're actually a little bit easier as well to paint. Um, but yeah, it's more sort of realistic to where I live. Uh, I've just realised I've messed up. I probably shouldn't have put those on the right because I'm going to put a tree over them in a minute. Never mind. Let's keep going. All right, so, so the swans. This is going to be a bit tricky because my paint's wet. This is going to probably take a really thick amount of paint to get that paint to stay. With the reflection for the swans, it's just yeah, a couple of the lines underneath. It's really effective when you do reflections on water. Now I'm actually going to do a bit of a cheat here um, because of where the grass is going to go in a minute I'm just going to block in some of the black again with Alika's video she's working a lot more detail in, in the swans because I'm a little bit short on time uh, I'm just going to block in the, the grass so you'll notice on the goodness for you video she actually is individually putting those grass uh, sort of streaks through individually they're really beautiful but I've just done the base layer here and then I'm just going to work those streaks up in a minute so let's just get this tree first of all again I'm working ahead slightly just because I know it's coming up you can see where I've stuffed up I've got, I'm going to go and paint over those Norfolk trees now but never mind live and learn it's always a great technique when you do trees like this um, with a fine detail brush just really load up your brush on just one side then it really does help to get those thin, quick lines as well. So you're not having to keep repeating the line. If you want plenty of pigments on your brush in order to do this. Now I'm getting behind now because the leak is already onto the leaves. I need to get this grass done. I've probably got a bit thick. Oh well, let's keep going. Some sort of vegetation on the left hand side. Not sure I'm going to be able to stick up to uh, keep up to the time here, but anyway, I'll keep going. Galika's already on the grass and she's already done the leaves as well. What I am going to do for the leaves of the tree, um, it's any technique or any video that you'll have seen when I've done some tree paintings, is to actually use a dry brush technique for the leaves. It's really, really effective. So I need to just put some of the grass through here. I'm just going to use the same fine detail brush and just flick up some of the grass leaves. I probably should have used a fan brush for this, but um, I want them to be more individual because they do stand out, those grass sort of strokes at the bottom. So that's why it's probably a bit more appropriate to use this brush. Where, where are we up to? Alika's just doing... I think she's just doing... Oh, it might not be too bad. She's just doing the left-hand side of the painting. Right, so just this is where I'm using my larger brush now just to put in some of the the tree leaf detail so it's a dry brush technique which is very minimal amounts of pigment on the brush I'm struggling a little bit just because the paint's wet in the background in the background I can't speak because I'm rushing so quickly so I'm just going to dab this on I might have to do it a couple of times just to make sure it stands out again because that paint is wet I'll just keep working it over Thing up, oh, there you go. Leak is already finished. I'm not quite, not too far away. We just want to put the sun in. 
to finish again because the paint's wet in the background I've just gone really thick with my white to make it stand out and there we go not too bad a few minutes or a few seconds off but hey ho I hope you've enjoyed it so there you have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I didn't quite manage to get it in under 10 minutes, but it was pretty close. If you have enjoyed the video, then do hit that like button just below us, it really does help our channel. And if you'd like to see some more challenges or weekly top tips, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So do hit that notification bell and subscription button just below. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.